COO and co-founder of Pink, Mr. Rupert Boxfield. Round of applause for Rupert, please. <laughs> and he even has a pink blazer on. I'm out rep represent representing. Fantastic. <laughs> nice to meet you, Rupert. Good to see you. And your time starts now. Hi, everybody. Thank you very much for having me here today. It's great to be down in Malta. Emin, thanks for putting this on. It's a great gig. Has anybody di invested in digital assets? It's pretty easy to lose, right, with all that volatility in the market. And it probably provides a little bit of comfort to know that you're not the only one. Out of the $4.5 trillion uh, millennial investing market, 31% of those people have yet to get into digital assets principally because of this. It's so high risk and it's difficult to know when to buy and how to buy and what to buy. And we know this because we've got 1,400 users on our platform already and they tell us this every single day. We've provided the solution that they want. So the principal problem that we're trying to fix here is risk. Only 5% of retail investors actually make a profit. And that's, as I mentioned before, is down to the limited amount of time you have to research and what to research, when to buy and how to buy. And so the obvious thing to do here would be to invest into an investment vehicle or a fund or somebody professional, right? Well, you usually get excluded from that because you don't have enough money or you're not considered sophisticated or high net worth. And we don't think that's right. So our solution's for everybody. We allow anybody to invest into our fund, whether you've got money or not. We allow one, well, we created one click simplicity and uh, uh, it's very easy to buy in or sell your position. And when you invest time versus when you invest money, you help us predict how the market's going to move. And we combine that prediction with AI to get a very, very accurate result. And we know we've got an accurate result because for the last four and a half months, we've been trading our first investment vehicle very successfully. And in fact, with that investment vehicle, our crowd predicts movements on Bitcoin right now between 3 and 9% with an 87% accuracy 24 hours in advance. Now, we're not the only people out there using crowd wisdom, but we are the only people uh, doing it in a regulatory compliant retail fashion. And um, we're there for everybody, allowing anybody to access our platform. The team behind this, uh, uh, this product has a lot of experience. Both myself and my co-founder, Seth, have exited digital startups before. And we've been joined by Maria from BlackRock and Mark, who's the ex-marketing director for Unilever. Our model is really simple. We share our profits of the investment vehicle back with the crowd and to our investors. And we access those investors through student communities first and expand out from there. So you're going to hear a lot about AI today and all the different uses of that. But the human brain has led humanity for 2,000 years. What's better than using that powerful mind plus AI? To Time's up. Thank you. Judges. Has your prediction model been consi consistent throughout? Or uh, can, can you elaborate a little bit more on that? Yeah, so we, we started gathering data in October of last year. We only started trading on it in February of this year. And yes, it's been consistent throughout. I mean, we've been uh, testing different, A-B testing ways of gathering that data, but we've now got to a really good solution. Thank you. Um, crypto markets are relatively shallow still. Um, which would mean that if you are successful attracting customers, you may not be able to execute the trades that you want. Which is why I'm very excited to say that from next week, we're adding the NASDAQ composite and gold to our platform. And at the end of the year, we're also adding um, property. And uh, in 2020, we'll be adding early stage VC. Thank you. Can you explain a little bit how do you uh, combine the crowd wisdom and the AI part? Yeah, so uh, the AI looks at individual track record and it looks at uh, geolocation as well. So individual track record will tell us what, how good they are at predicting, but also whether or not they want to stake or make a stronger prediction. We just look at that across the whole crowd so we know who the experts are and who the non-experts are and what the political kind of environment that they're actually in, where they, those uh, predictions are coming from. Uh, do users have to, to pay a fee? For, for, for the app. 
No, so our crowd, we pay them. We pay them in points initially, and we pay them out a dividend of the, of the profits of the fund quarterly. Um, uh, if we are selling the data, yes, we will be charging the, uh, the fee to that data fee, but that's not our principal model. Uh, you said anybody can participate uh, from a jurisdiction point of view. You're not excluding any? Uh, so uh, from an investor standpoint, we cannot accept uh, US, Canadian, and North Korean funds initially. Um, but uh, we are working on a solution to accept uh, US funds from the end of this year, start of 2020. Anything more? Uh, well, are you raising money? Yes, uh, we are going into our Series A. We were launching that in June, and I'd love to have you part of it if you'd be interested. And how many users do you have currently? Uh, currently, we have 1,400 uh, users on the platform. We've uh, just had a rapid expansion growth. Part of being at the end of our pre-seed round it allowed us to spend a little bit more on marketing and uh, growing that crowd out. And how did you get those, those user, users? So uh, starting with student communities first, so student uh, blockchain societies and uh, crypto societies. We were originally called the Crypto Crowd, and we changed our name just before the last uh, Malta uh, summit. So yeah, we started with those guys and uh, expanded out from there. Time is up. OK. Congrats. The winner, the 2019 Spring Edition of the Malta AI Blockchain Summit AI Startup Pitch is Robert Barksfield from Pink. Round of applause. You are the winner of the Startup Pitch. Please come and collect your, your award. I think it was the jacket. Congratulations. You want the photo? You your photo? No. I just wanted to say, look, thanks very much for uh, listening to what we're doing. Obviously, you've seen pink. I would suggest that everybody gets their phones out. Have you got a phone? People in this room, have you got a phone, right? Go to pinkster, P-Y-N-K. You can see the word up there. Stir, S T E R, dot com. Make a prediction today and we'll uh, predict what Bitcoin's going to do tomorrow. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Great stuff, Rupert. Thank you very much.